Hello and welcome to Eyewitness Report on Channels Television. Today, we follow up on a video of a flooded Old Ewu Road in Mafuluku area of Lagos. Also on the table is the aftermath of the rainfall in Bauchi State. Thereafter, we'll bring you more reaction on the proposed second phase of Banana Island. Some things you should know about this. Join us. I am Chris Elems. St. Jude's Catholic Church is located on Old Ewu Road in Mafaluku. The worshippers and residents have enjoyed peace until recently when flood became a regular feature in the community. Today, they can no longer bear the impact as they seek an end to this dilemma. Since the start of the rainy season, it's been sad tales for the people of Old Ewu Road in Mafuluku, Lagos. The road and adjoining streets have been divided by this pool of water, which has become a regular site. The effect on the residents is becoming unbearable, especially for children and older ones who come to the St. Jude's Catholic Church for worship. Very long time we've been suffering about this uh, road. Even the farmer, uh, our father, the other day we talked together. He said that he don't go office. When he go office, they're telling that uh, they already finished here. This very road, I don't fall twice. Look at my mouth. When I come in here, another day one young boy like this. When he see I see the boy carry me up. When the water full here. I surprised, I said, woman be like an envelope. One young boy like that just carried me up because of this rain. This video of the last rainfall shows flood finding its way into the church building and getting the whole meeting area soaked up. During our visit, the imprint of the rainfall and the attendant flood are still very visible. However, to prevent flood from getting into the church auditorium, a blockade had been erected. This, according to Pascal, a parishioner at the church, is one of the many ways the church has been spending money just to safeguard their structure and the worshippers. Me as a person, I have tried to trace it to find out where the problem comes from. And I believe that I found out that the front in the express there, where the gutter, the channel linked to the express, has been blocked, totally blocked. The water cannot go out. So we reported to the church authority and the church have been trying their best. They are written to drainage, they are written to the different parasitors in the government area. Even the engineers are working. I believe they are the Chokunle himself came to this area to see what he saw it himself. But yet nothing was done up to date. Even if you look at the short front of the short gate now, the church blocked this way because once it's raining, all these dates will float inside the church compound and it will cost a lot of money to pack it. This street, the church and the streets, uh, the landlord association have packed this gutter. If I'm not lying, let's say they have packed it not less than three or four times and all this thing cost money. No one is less than 280 and above to pack this gutter. So they have been trying their best, but yet no solution. That's one. Just as the church is affected, so also are other businesses around there. Sherry Fart, a trader, says she does not bother opening for oppression once it rains. Concerning this road, they claim to have worked on it thrice. That's not true. We are suffering, and so we need the governor to attend to us. was here. He came here. He told us that this road will be repaired, and there is going to be channel from here down to the express. But we don't see channel low constructed. It's, we saw gutter. And the effect of this gutter which they built by that time is what now we are reaping because it's not wide enough. The water here is from four or five places directed to this place. And in the light of that, we have nowhere to go. Now, since somebody came now and people have been saying much 
and good about him. We want him to extend his generosity to us here to help us as other taxpayers have been helped. Some of the landlords have resorted to buying pumping machine to get water out of their compound, while those who can't afford it manually do so. <laughs> When they started the main construction on Airport Road, our channel was blocked. That's why I went to buy a pumping machine to deflood my compound. All my tenants have left. Construction that is going on at Airport Road there. So by the time they started the work, they need to block our drainage. So for the water to flow now, it's very difficult. So whenever I rain fall, if I, we, 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 pray, we, we pray to God, that God, please, just let this rain come a little, so that we won't be having any heavy rain. So what is going on now is that whenever rain falls, everywhere is flooded, water is not going again. Just look at the canal. This is a canal that is crossed by a fascia. So now the water is not going at all. The, the canal is stand stagnant there. So look, just look at the water now, it's even smelly. Everywhere is full of mosquito. In our house now, mosquito everywhere, everywhere. Mosquito were just biting us. Everybody is having malaria. Even the small children, every time we take them to hospital. The stagnant water has become a breeding ground for mosquitoes. And possible epidemic outbreak looms if nothing was done to deflood the area. We are taken round the locality to see the major reason the area gets flooded. It's a fence built on the water channel. According to the residents, this has put pay to the flow of water. In addition, the ongoing construction of the airport road appears not to have taken into cognizance the impact the blocked drains and clogged manholes could have on the locality. Interestingly, the hotel with the fence now has a new management that feel the community around deserve to be treated better. After due consultation, they promised to start work immediately to open up the drain and also to carry the community along as a matter of policy. This issue of um, drillage did not start today, it's been a long time. And it has been like a battle between we and the community people. But um, let me not prolong the matter anyway. Um, since the, the former management failed to do what they should do, what they're supposed to do rather. This is another new management. Henceforth, I think things will change. Henceforth, you can be checking, coming in to check from months, to, from time to time. Things, things, things will change for better. Our representative of the community believes our visit is the beginning of a new story for them. Now, thank God for today, we've met the management. They made us understand now that we were having other management before. Now. They've convinced us now that right from now that they are going to rectify the problem. So I am standing as a representative of the, to the community. So from now on, I think we are on a monitoring movement. We are monitoring the work from now. The ongoing construction of the airport road is no doubt a laudable idea. But if it fails to take the various communities along this path into consideration, that might amount to robbing Peter to pay Paul.